Okay, y'all, it's 408. Yeah. Now, it seems like now people are finally coming around to uh, understand that how people really is. Now, when you to the point you can see through people's bullshit, and don't nobody believe you, that is because I think that that's the point when they just choose to believe the shit and the stupid other people shit and they stupidity. Like I can see through a motherfucker, certain motherfuckers bullshit, but some people like. Nah, they still good people. They still sweet. They didn't stay that. Believe that shit if you want to. That's all I'm gonna say is believe that shit if you want to. They showing you their true colors. They showing you what they really is and how they really is. But yet and still, you choose to be stupid and believe the good that they still got good in them. And they showing you ain't shit. Ain't shit about them good. Nah, they lost. They got uh, no. That's not me. I can't. I can't do that. I can't. But I'm not gonna believe in if they believe somebody still have good in them when they showing you ain't shit about them good. Ain't nothing in them good. Y'all, this the ring right here. Hopefully, I can see it. You really can't, but yeah, it's a crown. You get the gist. It's a crown. And it comes with the second ring. But yeah, when you can smell somebody bullshit from a mile away, you know, they full of it. Now you full of shit. I can, sm I can smell y'all shit from here to West Montgomery. There's like several streets in that direction. Yeah, I can't. I cannot stand these people. Especially when you so full of shit. It's just ain't cute. Like, how can you be so full of it? Oh, somebody could show you who they actually really are. They could show you. Look, this is how I am. They're not going to tell you. they like, okay, they're acting stupid. They're talking to you stupid. They're treating you like shit. They're always picking on you, always picking at you, trying to tell you the way you raise your kids is wrong. But you still choose to believe that there's some kind of good in them. That made to me, in my opinion, that makes you dumb as hell because you still think it's some good in them. You still think that they nice, sweet people. Yeah, you could be evil. I mean, you could be messy. You could be picky. You could be full of shit and still be kind of nice. Do it the nice way. But why would you want to do all that? If you're going to be full of shit. If you're going to be full of shit, you need to just stop all together. Damn. Damn. y'all that's how people is they people just believe whatever they see how can you believe what you see in somebody Ow. what you see and that person still showing you that they full of shit they showing you and you still don't want to believe it you want to believe what they showed you when they first met you hell no like I said I'm going to believe that shit Show me what the fuck you want to show me. I don't believe it. Hey, like, fuck all that. I do not believe that. I'm just saying. If you full of shit, then... Why the hell should I believe... Anything... Why should I believe anything you show me or anything you tell me or anything you do? Yeah, 
lot of these people here. But when somebody else call them out for their bullshit, then you're like, oh, I didn't know they was that kind of person. I didn't know they was that kind of person. I thought they was sweet. I thought they was this. I thought they was... You see, that's the thing. You thought and you thought wrong. When somebody was trying to tell you that they full of shit and they showing you they self that they full of shit, you didn't want to believe it. You still believe, oh, it's some good in them. They still sweet. They still this. They... No, baby, don't. I keep trying to tell you. You don't need to be believing anything anybody tell you. Like I said, a pair of lips will say anything. A human, a person can do anything. They'll do anything. So you need to start being on that shit. Whether you say, you like, fuck what people say. It's all about what you show me. And if you show me some shit I don't like, or show me your true colors the first time, they always say you better believe somebody when they show you their true colors. But that's just them, I guess. It's just some shit these people, how these people do. I gotta say, these people are so fucking ridiculous. It ain't cute. don't believe it you let people tell you one thing and show you something else you still want to believe that they sweet innocent souls she must have had a job as a housekeeper somewhere at a nursing home or something but you have to wear scrubs but yeah i can't hell no nah. That's what I'm just saying. You can't just okay. Well, they nice people. They give you the shirt out there. They did this. They did. Yeah, that's what they tell you. Oh, I raised. I helped raise this. But that got my granddad. I helped raise. That got my uh other granddad. I helped raise. This another baby. I helped raise. This another baby. I helped. Okay, this is a whole nother topic within the same video. People get tired of hearing that shit. I don't care who you raised, help raise, or what. Yeah, do it look like I give any kind of dams, any kind of fuck. I don't give one fuck or two fucks. So y'all can take that shit and shove it up your ass. I don't care. I don't care if you help raise the army. I don't care if you help raise a village. I don't care if you didn't raise nobody. I don't wanna know. Won't you just say, this is such and such, how you doing? And keep it moving. It's up to me if I say hi or not. Damn. These people think that they should just tell you their whole life story because they want you to tell them they yours. That's what it is. And I'm like, fuck that. And they think like, okay, well, the reason why she like this is because of uh, what she been through made up. No. It's because I realized I, all that shit y'all trying to pull. The way y'all treating people. But. You still expect for a motherfucker to. Respect you. You still expect for a motherfucker to. Want to be around you. You you really do. They really do. They really think. Motherfuckers don't respect them. When they first of all don't respect themselves. Because if they respect themselves. They wouldn't be treating people like shit. They'll show that okay. Well, I treat people the way, not only the way they treat me, but the way I was raised to treat people. What is 
this. But no, they don't do that. They don't do that. They treat you like shit. Because you know why? That's how they treat their own people. And you can see it. Ooh, sorry, y'all. Hold on. You can see it. That that's the way they treat their own people. And that's why they people don't come around here. Like that. That's fucked up, though. But hey, that ain't my responsibility. That's like I said, that's their problem. I ain't got shit to do with them. They shouldn't have, shouldn't have, or shouldn't want to have shit to do with me. Like I said, that's y'all fucking problem. I don't have shit to do with what y'all got going on. Like I say, y'all always want to. Y'all always want to use me for a store like I'm a fucking store. Y'all always want to come around when y'all only want something. Y'all always asking for shit. Y'all always want to borrow this and borrow that. Get a cup of this. Get a cup of that. When was the last time y'all seen me come around since this shit happened? With this shit I happened that I've been through since I've been back? I haven't been over there asking y'all for a motherfucking thing. But what y'all do? Still come over asking for this, asking for that. Borrowing this, borrowing that. Want to get this, want to get that. I'm going to start charging people for shit. Yeah, every time you come around, ask for something. That's a dollar. That's 50 cents. Oh, that's 25. Now, ain't going to be nothing under no damn 25 cents. Oh, that's 50 cents. That's a dollar. 50 cents and up. Oh, that's two dollars. Oh, you want, you want some butter? How many? Oh, a stick? That's 50 cents. Two is a dollar. Hell. Two for a dollar. You get four for two dollars. I might, just because I don't like it, might say $2.50. And if you annoy the fuck out of me, if, oh, and if you want my fucking sales paper with my address and apartment number on it, when you could have went up there and got your own goddamn sales paper and shit, you want to come over here for me? You want to come over here and ask me for my shit? And you want, uh, that's going to be two fifty. Maybe not depends on what it, what's in it. If I got to look at it or not. If I didn't get to look at it, that's two seventy five. If I did, I say at the least two twenty five. If ain't shit in there that I want, then if you come over and you want to use the rest of the shit that I spent two dollars and fifty cent for, you I spent two dollars and fifty cent on the perm. I walked to the, my ass in the hot ass sun to the store to get something that I need. Which is two dollars and fifty cents. I spent my money, but you want to use the rest of it, so I only got like a dollar out of it. Hell no, you're not finna do that. Fuck that. You better walk either walk your ass over there to that stuff, or stop expecting free handouts. That's what the fuck you can ex you can stop expecting. But if I got if you come over here and ask me for the rest of my shit. That I spent my hard earned money that I work for on that I barely have enough of myself. And you supposed to get social security benefits. You got a boyfriend. And then you want an umbrella that costs $5. I'm going to charge you $5 for the umbrella. That'll make your ass stop asking for shit. That'll make people definitely. When you start charging people for shit. Especially outrageous ass prices. They'll stop asking you for it. They'll stop bothering you. They'll stop uh, asking you for random shit. For little stupid petty shit that they can go get themselves. So, okay, you want to come over here and ask for shit? The so, uh, cup of soap going to be 75 cents if I got to squeeze my soap. That I, anything that I got to spend my money, that I spent my money on, that I got to break bread with you and you ain't help put shit in this house? Trust me, that's going to cost. You at least going to give me half of what I spent back or even if you use a drop, you going to give me half of what I expect, what I spent on it, you going to give me half back. Because I didn't go spend this money to go, share, to go buy stuff I need to share with the whole damn community. Fuck that. That's bullshit. So, you mean to tell me, in this video I have multiple points, multiple things I'm talking about in it. So, you mean to tell me I can go to, if I can go to the store and buy some dishwashing liquid. I can go and buy, go to the store and buy some butter when I go grocery shopping. I can go to the store and buy a perm when I need stuff for my hair. I can go buy deodorant, hygiene products, beauty products, and spend my money for it. That I don't have money don't grow on no fucking trees. But 
I have to break. You mean to tell me I have to break bread with you just because you one, you too damn lazy to walk your ass across the across the street to the stove and pick up the little shit you do need. You too lazy to get the shit while you in the fucking stove already. Oh, you mean to tell me you got a boyfriend? You too scared to even ask him to help you out? Or you too scared to ask family to help you out? But you expect strangers that ain't related to you to help you out? Hell no. That is not how the fuck shit work. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you need to go find you some fucking body else to uh, borrow shit from. To so-called borrow. I got to break bread with my coffee that I spent $5.96 on and $5.97 on. Oh, baby, you going to give me $2.50. That's what you're going to do. You're going to give me $2.50. That's half of the price I spent for that coffee, even if you did get a cup. A cup is $2.50. My dishwashing liquid, I spent a dollar on, you're going to give me, uh, if I spent a dollar on, you're going to give me 50 cent back out of that dollar. If I spent two dollars and something on that, you gonna give me two dollars back? You gonna give me? If I spent two dollars out of that, you gonna give me one fifty? And that's just because the price going up, just because I don't like you and you working my fucking nerves. It's not that I hate you, cause I try my hardest not to hate somebody, but they really were pushing it. My thing is that you working my fucking nerves. That's what it is. You always come over fucking with people, and since you wanna fuck with somebody. I'm going to show you how to fuck with somebody, but I'm going to fuck with your pocketbook. That's going to make you not want to come out here asking for shit. You're going to think twice, well, I can get that shit cheaper at the store. Well, then why don't you take your bitch ass over there to the store in the beginning? Instead of coming over here fucking with me, I got to get up, put my food up to go serve you. And then when you come over there, you always saying smart ass shit. Why you always eating every time I see you? What you eating now? What you doing? I'm washing my hair. What you doing here? What you doing? What she doing? None of your motherfucking business what I'm doing. I could be in here fucking. You still want to know what I'm doing? Hold on, y'all. Someone's on his camera lens. But yeah. You still want to know what the fuck somebody else ass doing. When it ain't got shit to do with you. Stay your motherfucking ass out from other people's house. Stop asking other people personal business. Stop asking other motherfuckers personal questions. It ain't got shit to do with you while you always asking people personal shit. You so fucking worried with the what other motherfuckers got going on. You ain't even got your shit straight in your damn house. But you so busy wanting to talk about other people. Just come up. You was good. Just gonna come on up. You was good, sister. Come on. Come on. You good. You good, girlfriend. But yeah, I was trying to help, but I will. But yeah, I'm like, you need to, you can't tell somebody, oh, you gonna stay with your mom forever, huh? Bitch, you 51 years old and you still staying at home. How the fuck you gonna talk about somebody not knowing their situation, what they going through, their financial situation, nothing. You don't know nothing. You just know what that person choose to tell you or choose to show you or choose to let you see. But... You want to say something about them when your shit fucked up. Your situation fucked up. But you got something to say to everybody about their life. But as soon as somebody mentioned your lifestyle and what you got going on. Oh, it's a fucking problem. Nobody's supposed to say nothing to you. No. That's not how to fucking work, okay? It is not how to fucking work. Thought I had some of my nose. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, that's not how the fuck it works. Like, now you too fucking worried about shit that don't concern you. You worried about hi. You worried about every goddamn thing else. 
other than why you still stay at home huh that's what i want to know you worried about why other people still staying at home why wow. hello. hello you worried about why other people still stay at home you worried about why people ain't got their shit together well look at you 51 years old still staying at home with your mom all your other siblings that moved out and started their own life and got their shit going i don't care you see why should i have sympathy for you because you sick and be concerned about you being sick that's why you staying at home when you ain't even think to take it into consideration oh somebody could be having financial problems oh this person could be sick too or oh, this could be the reason why the person's still at home or oh, that could be the reason why the person's still at home but you want to open your fucking dick suckers and got something to say let stupid shit fly out and expect everything to be okay be like okay well i can say stupid shit to you i can say this that and the third to you and it's for you ain't supposed to say nothing back or i supposed to be okay and no just no hi just no just keep your mouth closed especially when you ain't got your shit together you so worried about what the fuck i'm doing when you in the same fucking boat. You can't say shit to somebody when you in your you ain't concerned about what you got going on in your boat. You ain't concerned about who the fuck pat who the fuck in your boat, who you got in your boat, and if they not paddling or drill if they be drilling holes in your boat. You got your boat rolling and everything. People probably drilling holes and shit in your boat. You so worried about what the next person got in their boat. Who they got in their boat. Who's swimming along with them? Focus on getting your shit together. Stop being envious of people because of their mother-daughter relationship and your mother-daughter relationship with your child ain't going straight. But y'all man, this right here. I'm going to see y'all. Bye, y'all.